What does it mean for me to take up my cross and follow him? Well, for one thing, my cross can be very different from yours because it's it's specially made just for me as yours is for, for you. But what is the cross? The cross is whatever sufferings come to us during the day that we we bear patiently and in as, in as much as possible silently for him and we follow him and we realize that that is what we are doing exactly what we are doing there's no crown without the cross and the road to heaven is filled with thorns and and sharp rocks and it's very narrow but it's also joyful because we know that when we suffer, we are sharing with him his suffering. We are understanding better what he did for us out of love. And we want to return that love in a small way if we can. No, it's not easy. Especially not easy to do it silently, to keep it to myself. But it's not always a big thing. It can be a small thing. It can be an irritation. It can be um, a minor sickness. It can be a major sickness. It can be all the things that come in our day that are painful and hard to endure. You name it, aches and pains, um, bad weather even, you know. It, it, it doesn't have to be big. It can be a small thing. But the important thing is we don't throw it off. We don't try to run from it. We don't try to always seek comfort and avoid pain and avoid what's not easy for what is easy. That's what it means. And when you are proclaiming Christ, you're going to have a lot more crosses because people are going to come at you and life's not going to be easy because you made a choice to stand with Christ and the world doesn't like that. Even in your workplace, you're going to face it. Even out in the marketplace, you're going to, you're going to face a hostility. That's carrying the cross, absolutely. But there's no way around it. And I admit I like comfort and I'm not a big fan of pain, who is? But sometimes it builds character and sometimes through self-discipline and just enduring, we can become better people as Christ intended. So take up your cross and follow him because it's the only way to heaven.